Hey everybody, this is my 10 gallon office tank, formerly my pee puffer tank. And yesterday I shot a video and I was talking about the fish in it, I was calling them five lined barbs. I did title it saying that they were mislabeled and that is because I didn't find that out until after I'd shot the video. I shot the video thinking they were five lined barbs when they're not. They are checkered barbs or checkerboard barbs. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's checkered or checkerboard. I think it's checkerboard. Uh, either way, it's they're not the five line barbs at all. What it turns out is the two different fish that were in the tank. One I thought was the checkered and the other I thought was the five lined. And it turns out that they were both the same species. It's just that one was the males, which is the ones I bought. that had the colorful red uh, fins with the black tracing around them. And then the other ones that were a little more plain and silvery looking were the females. So I have four little males in this tank and I've been watching them today and they kind of interact the way my cherry barbs used to. I don't think they're going to be too much of an issue as far as uh, aggression uh, or, or damage, injury. There might be a little bit of disputes the same way you'll see a little bit of chasing and darting around with the neons in there you know they sort out a pecking order it's and you gotta pay really 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 close attention if you ever want to figure out who's who in the in the community but they know you know and i'm assuming that the barbs will sort the same issues out i'm hoping i can get by my big chain pets not my big chain pet store my good um fish store the big one down south of me it's about an hour away i've got some work to do down there tomorrow if the weather holds out and if they've got these little checkered or checkerboard barbs in there, I'll see if they've got some females. I'll talk to some people whose opinions I trust down there, and I'll find out if it's even necessary for me to bring home any females. And if so, am I going to need to bring home, you know, six females to four males, or will just one or two females in there be enough, like with rainbow fish? I don't know. So we'll find out, but these are definitely checker barbs or checkerboard barbs and not the five line like I was saying before. I did uh, point that out in a video last night, but it was a very different video and it wasn't about this tank. So if you missed that one, uh, I just wanted to clarify that that's what these uh, fish are. The other thing I want to point out about this tank is I added a couple of new occupants today. Since I put these barbs in straight from the fish store, figuring I'm going to be treating this tank more or less as its own sort of quarantine tank um, one of the fish that I had downstairs in quarantine made it up here and is now in the tank uh, last I saw it we could see its silhouette down through the under canopy down here but somewhere in here is now a little Corydorus palliatus or a little pepper cory I uh, didn't know that I still had one in my quarantine tank he was hiding so I got a new clown loach today a small one from the big chain pet store and i'm going to introduce that eventually into my garami tank so that the small clown loach in there has a companion and hopefully will come out from hiding underneath that log and then if i ever do catch the clown loach that's in my 125 i can always put it over there and have the three smaller loaches together in that 55 gallon so that won't be an issue but in order to get my quarantine tank freed out I needed to get rid of all the neons and all of the little guppies that were in there I had a whole bunch of fish that were in there that needed to find homes today so I was surprised to find the little uh, Cory in there so that Cory made it into this tank and then the neons all went into my garami tank I didn't have a whole lot left but I think I put 10 of them in the garami tank and what else? I also put a clown pleco in this tank today. Uh, that's where I was going with saying that I had already kind of dedicated this as a temporary quarantine tank by putting those barbs in there. You know, they're fresh from the store. So now we've also got a clown pleco in there somewhere. And we're going to start documenting how quickly it gets the tank cleaned up, if it survives, if it does well in my water. I'm kind of throwing the dice when I bring those uh, rubber lips or clown plecos, uh, bristle nose, any of those smaller species. I don't know why, but I just don't have really good luck with them. I'm sort of throwing the dice on them. The neons, I've got about a 50-50 survival rate, but that's only because of the horrible genetics 
from the places I get them. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily the same with the other fish, but it could be. I don't know. I don't have like a, a low survival rate when I buy other fish from the big chain pet stores. You know, if I brought home 10 neon tetras, I'd be, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, skirt tetras, I'd be really surprised if five of them died. You know, I might expect one or two to die within the week or two. But neon's just, you know, I don't have a good... Uh, survival rate of bringing neons home and then all those little rubber lips and stuff are the same way so I just added a clown pleco in here today and we will see if it um, does its thing I did put a pleco in here not long ago it got the tank all nice and cleaned up and about three months later it died and then the tank started getting all filthy again like this so we'll see what happens I don't know but those are all the new fish that are in here and on one final thought about my quarantine tank down the basement as I was emptying it out to make room to put the clown loach in there, I was getting all those neons and the, and the guppies and everything out of there. I saw two small fish that I forgot about. One was the one I've already talked about. It was like that two-tone um, sword tail. I don't know if it's going to be a male or a female, but it's sort of yellow up front and purplish in the back. That's getting bigger, and it's definitely, you know, that, that same sort of yellowish up front and purple in the back. It's that two-tone... Uh, live bearer there's no question about that but I also got a little fish along with my I bought them as Siamese algae eaters but I'm almost positive they're actually flying foxes we'll shoot some video about that later and we'll do some a uh, little bit of discussion about trying to identify them but I'm almost positive they're flying foxes and not Siamese algae eaters either way when I got them the employee that collected them up for me had one heck of a time catching them and they wound up you know getting the whole tank stirred up and they got a few little bits of gravel in the net in the bottom and when I got home I noticed in the bag there's a tiny little fry swimming around I have no idea what it is it looks like one of my little live bear fries you know it looks like these little tiny tiny guppy fry in here but it's a really dark coloration it's just it looks almost all black could be a black molly for all I know. It could be something really cool. I have no idea what it is. I don't remember what was in the tank with them. Uh, and finally, that fish store that I got these at, the Siamese algae eaters, these little barbs, and then that mystery fish, that store is about an hour away in another direction, and it's all back roads and everything. So that's a gas killer and a time killer. I don't go out to that store very often, so unless I really have a need to put some female barbs in this tank, I'm probably not going to be making the trip back out there anytime soon. So I think that's all make sure you subscribe i am going to be doing that video about these plants i've got in this tank i'm still waiting to see the root development on the uh lace leaf version we have there to the right and when i get a little more root development there we'll be shooting some video about this so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of that or anything else i got coming up it's always something you never know what it's going to be with me don't forget i'm now calling this one my office tank thanks for watching and i'll see you real soon in the next one